What's good with the YouTube? Y'all already know Big Flocker with a comics perspective. And I'm going to smash, dash, and slide on through with that little bit, that little bit of energy, man. Please hit the like, subscribe, comment, do all those things to help support this channel. And hit that bell notification for future, future fire content, man. And today, man, today's topic, man, is one of those ones that's going to be kind of a little bit, uh, spread out a little bit, man. Because, uh, you know, I've been watching a lot of stuff lately since I tapped in home. I watched the people making videos about me, right? And, uh, you know, I see people portray themselves to be active, solid, and then take shots at those that are dropouts, inactives, and just a whole bunch of just nonsense from time to time, man. And for me, from what era I'm from, from the culture that I have, from the schooling that I have, right? And from my observations of behaviors and conducts, right? Truth be told, man, a lot of these people, man... Even even if they're in good standings, man, just never been with the they've never been with the festivities, man. You know, um, I probably put in more work as a drop up than they've done their whole time fucking active. You know, and that's probably a fact right there. You uh, know, but the, you know, people are real quick to judge. They associate things with titles. You know what I'm saying? You got all kinds of dudes that are this and that. It's like, man, you know, you're on a platform to where everything that you do. Is being scrutinized. Everything that you say is being scrutinized. Everything that comes out your mouth is being talked about. You could be talking about this individual that, hey, he did this and went off the end and got on the scunt thing, just started acting the fool, or this dude over here is beating on his lady, whatever it may be. You know, real ones move in silence, man. So it's kind of hard for me to sit there and give the respect of a title of, of active with a lot of these individuals because, truth be told, in my eyes, I don't see nobody that's really active as far as in the mix or with the functions, man. Um, and that comes from my past associations, my past affiliations, my schooling, and whatnot. You know, real ones ain't going to sit there and pass judgment on man and talk about this and that and call people out like whatever they may be. A real one's going to be up in the cuts not putting themselves on blast and moving like a killer is supposed to, man. You know, anybody at any given moment, right, that has a past, and what I mean by a past that's been proven, that's been stamped, that's been with that action and has done things, could act on any particular moment. But you got those that maybe they're in good standings, right, and still ain't never put no work in a day in their life. But they may have gotten a melee here and there or them saying, uh, you know, but there's nothing to really substantiate that they have any type of credibility as far as influences, being within action, or being on a high level of rank or status. If anything, it proves the very opposite, man. You know, um, and this is just my personal opinion, man. You know, um, cause I, I sit there and I observe who's who, who's what, and, you know, if you would ask me about shit... 15 years ago, would this kind of stuff be, be going on, on YouTube? I would have said, fuck no, man. Because there's so much stuff when you really take a step back, man, that there's so much dry snitching. There's so much exposing of people's personal business. There's even certain things from channels that sit there and say that they're active that I see dry snitching. I see them fucking sitting there putting out information about certain people. You know, say what you want about those that are dropouts channels or not active, but you got some of the biggest people who are sitting there putting out the most incriminating evidence towards other people are people who claim to be active. I shit you not, man. I'm not even going to sit there and, and mention any uh particular channel's names, man, but I, I sit there and I watch everything, man, and it shocks me that people don't understand what that life's about. It, it's They have no understanding of the political confinements of a Prison politics, right? Which is you don't say nothing, you don't know nothing, you don't speak on anything outside of your own, and even then you keep it within your own circle, right? Anybody that's done any time that's been on a real level, right, can comprehend what I'm saying, right? Now, in addition to that, you know, if you are a, whatever you are affiliated with, right, whatever state, I don't know if it changes from state to state, but where I'm from, 
you basically your own people take care of that within the political realm of prison politics. Whatever you've done has nothing to do with my people. Whatever he he de- did has nothing to do with my people. Invite it just goes like that, and that's been that's occurred time and time again. How often do you hear of any particular group dealing with another group's trash, basura, dropouts, degenerates, whatever you want to call it? You don't, right? Yet people on YouTube will take the liberty to at times speak on those that are from the opposition that have fell off and whatnot because basically they feel that they have the right to. But basically in the reality of things, they don't. You don't know why someone fell off. You don't know what their story is. And at the end of the day, they're not your people. Now, if you ain't active, then you don't have no obligations to nobody. You don't follow under nobody's bandana. Then you have more liberty to to be free to talk about things. But when you're actively in the mix, from the area where I'm from, I don't know if it's changed. I don't know if there's some type of fucking unsaid fucking uh, rule now that, you know what I'm saying, you know, it's okay to involve yourself in another group's politics. See, regardless of what you may feel about what someone did, what their standings is, or whatnot, at the end of the day, it's that group's business. And a lot of these groups get upset when they start to see people of other groups, other factions, that get involved in it. It's not their fucking business, man, at the end of the day. You know, um, I know that firsthand. When we had to, we had to take some people back in the days... Because uh, they were worried about our trash out there on the streets. You know what I'm saying? And just the gossiping just picked up. It's like, man, you know what? This isn't your affair. This isn't your business. You have no say-so in this. Therefore, take a step back and shut your fucking mouth. And that's what time it is it's supposed to be when it comes to prison politics, man. You know, um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a trip, man. Because uh, I've really been looking into things a little bit more. And watching channels for ideas and seeing how people operate. And if you notice, I'm not going to mention any names, any active channels, inactive or whatnot. It just trips me out, man, that people forget the base foundation of how prison organizations, movements, and the prison political spectrum operate. You know what I'm saying? It hasn't changed. I don't think it's changed from, from back then till now. You know, because there's been wars that have been set. In prison, on level four guards, three, two, one, wherever it may be, and even on the guys for people who take action on a particular group's basura because that's not their business, you know. So, I don't know why it's any different on YouTube where people feel the need to sit there and discuss people's situations and scenarios and whatnot, you know. And you know, it's a little bit different when you're not involved in the mix no more. You know, so some people say, well, you guys are quick to sit there and speak on this and speak on that. Well, because a lot of us don't fall under under no bandana no more. We're not trying to portray that we are functioning individuals who are recognized in good standings by our group. See, there's a big difference there. People don't understand. You know, and the terms active can be so twist it up, functioning, good standings and whatnot. See, there's a difference between being in good standings standings and functioning within the collective. You know, um, but some of the behavior is just, it's contrary to what you know, I know to be what's supposed to be the proper etiquette within the prison structures. You know, it's not supposed to be about, you know, involving yourself in this issue, this group or whatnot, if you're in good standings. See, a lot of people don't realize or recognize that. They think that, okay, these dudes are basuda over here. Say he's a dropout Southsider, I mean, Emmy, whatever, Southsider. Okay, I can speak on him. Technically, that's their business. They don't want nobody to deal with their trash or speaking upon their trash but themselves. So if you're active, you need to really take a step back and look at it from, through a whole different lens. And there ain't no different layers to this, man. Once you're recognized as not being fucking in good standings, it doesn't matter. They're going to look at you the same as anybody else. You know, some may be a target that they're more willing to go after than others. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? That's the truth. And see, people need to sit there and really, like I said, uh, uh, look at the truth behind what, what people say. 
You know, uh, if you're speaking on the other man's business affairs, whether valid or not, without any type of uh, facts, why they have uh, current issues, um, current affairs going on that maybe have legal uh, ramifications behind it, you got to recognize what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? I can sit there and pinpoint about three or four active channels that I've seen um, speak on certain things, man, that were basically dry snitching that if it's really looked at through a whole different lens, hey, man, that's that's not how people are supposed to get down. That's basura be behavior. Now, I know people are going to say, oh, look at him, call him basura behavior. Hey, it is what it is, right? I'm not sitting here trying to fucking portray that I'm active in any way or I'm about this and that. Even though I probably put in more work than fucking ninety percent of these dudes that say that they're active, you know, <laughs> and that's the fucking truth. Um, you know, I think things are going to get real interesting um, in the coming months because a lot of stuff has happened, man. You know, uh, take my situation, put that out out to the side because I'm not going to speak about that. But you've had the Savage Studios, you've had the situation with Bandit, you've had people fucking. You know, threatening, putting all kinds of stuff out there, man. I mean, you know, it's it's not a game, man. This is real life we're talking about, man. And um, well, real life consequences. Do people understand that? This is real life with real consequences. It just isn't just YouTube. It's for entertainment because if that's the case, you wouldn't have fucking blood on people's hands out there in the guy in the streets. It's real life, real shit. You know, and, you know, some, I guess you can give a pass. Maybe they've never been in prison. They don't understand, uh, you know, how uh, prison politics work. Maybe they're, they're low on the totem pole if they were in prison. You know, but those that know do understand what I'm saying. Um, once, one thing is to have an opinion on a current issue of conflict. But when you cross over that threshold of dictating another group's actions, that you feel that you could take your action upon that, that's where you're going to have a lot of problems, man. And that's why people say stay in your lane. Worry about what you do. If you don't like someone, what they're doing, then don't fuck with them. See, a lot a lot of, a lot of boundaries have been crossed in YouTube. There's been a lot of dudes that have secretly not put out that their, their standings. Um, they've hid behind certain scenarios and situations. And... They've also had interactions with those that have claimed to be active. You know, a lot of that's going to have to eventually be fucking meted out and fixed, right? But that's why we as content creators have a responsibility to be transparent in everything that we do. Because truth crush of the earth will always come. You know what I'm saying? It'll always rise. And it'll always be what it is. Everything comes out in the wash, including the rinse. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And whether you want to accept it or not, this is the truth, man. You know, so take a, take a little step back, man. And if you're a content creator, man, be watchful of what you do because people are feeling too confident that they just overlooked that some of some people who've been in that life, you know what I'm saying, are really with that action in their past. More so than some of these cats who are so, so fucking animated about calling themselves active, but yet ain't been active about nothing but talk on, on YouTube. I hope this makes sense, man. It's just something that I I wanted to kind of address because I've been observing it. And see, I pay a lot of attention and, and I may be seeing something for six months, nine months, and I won't address it till I think it's the right time. And I think it's that time, man, that people need to sit there and recognize that just being active doesn't mean that you're with the shit or with the business. Just being in good standings doesn't mean that you're some fucking political fucking figure that has some say so on every group out there's uh, business. You know, same thing with those in inactive. There's a lot of dudes, you know what I mean, that have have held ranking status, that have ran prisons, that know how to politic. You know, don't let the smooth taste fool you, man. Some of us been in those trenches, man, where other cats have never been and have been in positions to either act or make decisions that a lot of these cats would be fucking scared to to this day. With that said, man, it's just a little bit of thought for you guys, man. Black old convict's perspective, I'm out.